I, I don't I don't really know what to say exactly, so I'll just try to just put a bunch of photos and hope it works out. Um, you know, there is there is this thing that we used to say a lot, uh, which is it's called the the R way. Um, and so the R way is this term that we have for how we do things at Aragon. And when I mean Aragon, I don't mean the Aragon One team, I don't mean Nest, I don't mean anything like that. I mean the whole Aragon community. And the R way, it's it's all about being friendly and being warm. Of course, we have these amazing plans to take over the world and decentralize everything. Of course, we do. But I think there is something deeper to that, which is the revolutions that are started with people that don't care about how to get there usually end up pretty badly. And we do care. We do care about the way that we get there, about being fair, about including people, about being community governed. We care about that. And I think you can see that in the whole event. Like you can see this very like, interesting warm feeling uh, like that there with like the conference favorite baby um, <laughs> or like the photo booth and people just enjoying themselves. Or, or the volunteers, give it up for the volunteers. That was really amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is really crazy when we were like, yeah, let's do like a, um, let's do like a conference with uh, 500 people. <laughs> and we were like, all right, um, interesting. And then we sold out like a week ago. But then until the same day that we started the conference, I was just very worried. I was just like, would people show up to this? Do people care about governance at all? Do they know what a DAO is? Or do they want to learn? And then I was, I was just very pleased because people did show up. Um, and a lot of them, and actually there was even people that couldn't get a ticket. Uh, there was someone who actually got a flight from Venezuela without even having a ticket, and he was just like, hey, I really want to learn more about this, and, and I want really to experience this, this conference, so you know, can, I, can I get in? And we were like, of course, like, you're totally <laughs> getting in, like, of course. Um, and that was really amazing, and, and I think that's the ROA, that's, that's who we are. Um, you know, there is there are other kind of ruthless projects out there that just try to do things in a different way. There is communities, I'm, I'm sure you know, you know some <coughs> EOS. <coughs> um, and, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, like, I think we have, to be, we have to be fair and we have to really keep in mind that um, you know, the revolutions that are actually worth are the ones in which uh, there are people that are not only capable of doing great things and they are technically able to do great things and great developers, engineers, designers, you know, product people. Um, but also the ones in which, you know, we have like a, like a good heart and we have good intentions. Then things may fail. I mean, no one's gonna get this right the first time. Maybe like decentralized organization take a, takes us into like a huge dystopia, 100 years down the road. Are we pretty sad about that? Um, but at least we have to try because I think society right now, we don't have any values, we don't have any hopes. Like, like my generation, the avocado and Instagram generation, right? Like, it's just so empty. And I feel that some of that is because governance has failed us. Governance has failed us in a lot of ways. And I think, for example, like, you know, Donald Trump, we have mentioned Donald Trump and put like a lot of pictures these days uh, of him and, and his McDonald's burgers. Um, and and I think governance, per se, is just a tool, but it's a very powerful tool. And what we are seeing now is this Cambrian explosion of governance models. Yeah, for sure, Aragon 0.6 has this amazing body now, which is like pretty simple, democracy, one token, one vote. But we can do so much stuff, much more advanced, and we can experiment. And that's the important part. It's a clean canvas for governance experimentation. And at the end, governance models will take us you know, way far, far in terms of not only efficiency, but also fairness. And that's what the Argon community is all about. And I think you know, the last thousand years, we have discovered how to run you know, like healthy democracies, and then we have discovered how not to run them. And that's where we are now. And so now we have to think, you know, what's next? What is going to give hope to the next generations 
so they are not the avocado in Instagram generations anymore, but they actually care about things. They actually want to push forward humankind and remove oppression from places where you have a lot of oppression, and even places uh, like Germany, which retain a lot of our badges in, in customs. Uh, this is a very interesting story, but I, I won't get into it. Aracon being oppressed by the government. Um, and how we get there is with products. And this couple of days, we have introduced amazing products. We introduced Aragon Mobile. Thanks, Jorge, for introducing it live and, and demoing live on a stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doing a live demo is never easy, and we all know that. Um, we, of course, also had Aragon Desktop, which you can download now. And, and thanks to everyone who was involved in that, too, uh, especially Brett. Not where he is, but. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there is like, the Iron One team was like, no sleeping until 5 a.m., then Brett, Oli, like, it was just like really amazing. So, yeah, they, like, you know, people really care. We are, we're, we're here for a reason. Um, that's very important. And also, of course, one of the things that I'm most excited about, which is what's coming up this year, which is. Finally, <laughs> the Argon network. And I think that's going to drive forward not only decentralized organizations, but actually enable them to get rid of a lot of the traditional nation states and actually move into this new world, which is a clean canvas not only for governance models, but also how we define a system of law. And I think that's extremely powerful. So really what I want to do here is I want to welcome you all to the ARA family. Um, I like to prefix a lot of words with ARA. So instead of the Airbnb, we go to the ARA BNB. We actually use those terms. <laughs> and I really have to welcome you to the ARA family. Like each of you today now are part of something that is bigger than all of us, even in this room, um, and in the people watching. And it's, it's really a fight for freedom. So. Thanks a lot for coming, and also mark your calendars. February 10th, Fight for Freedom Day. ANT holders decided that. <laughs> so please mark it in your calendars. And I want to say that you are Aragon. And so as part of Aragon, you have the duty of drawing what it will look like in the next decades. So thanks a lot for coming. And before ending, um, we're going to show an amazing video that Adri made. Adri is the mastermind behind this amazing eagle here and the whole brand. And we are going to show that video. Uh, but just before getting off stage, <sighs> this feels like a fucking dream. <laughs> so really, thank you all for making it possible. Yeah.